We're at one and a half trillion a year, headed to two, even two and a half trillion a year. This is what we're borrowing annually. Yeah. I've always been confused, especially like when we borrow from other countries on what the consequence is, because the standard of living, at least for me in my ignorant experience has been the same, like no matter how much we're borrowing, um, except for like a little bit of inflation. So what's the consequence of that? That, that is a great question, but I have like 15 slides probably just dedicated to that question. So I, I promise I am going to get to it. The question was, what are the consequences of, of borrowing? Um, and there's many of them. The one thing I'll say is that most of the consequences seem invisible because they're very diffuse and they're very incremental, typically. And this is a consequence that people face in, in budgeting. Um, it's a little bit like climate change in the sense that um, Nobody feels the effect of you know, an additional ton of emissions. Be but like everybody feels the effect 20 years down the road of the accumulation of, of emissions. I'm not saying debt is the same level of threat as climate change, but it's a similar situation where um, the benefits of deficits are actually very targeted, right? Because the benefit is you got a paycheck protection program or you got a $1,200 or $1,400 check, but the costs are very diffuse. It's that everybody's standard of living is a little bit worse than it would have been accumulating over time.